Hey now, it's Mark. Welcome back. Had a couple of videos on my boat and I decided I'd do some on my jugging for catfish. I'm out here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, mostly Pris, um, Old Hickory, and Percy Priest. And just so y'all can see what I do, I don't go buy the expensive noodles they have at Walmart and stuff, which is easier, but I mean, if you got time and I've been saving up my jug since December, but you can find some laying around, gallon jugs, half gallon. I got some stuff from work. These are like butter. I think they held butter in them. That's a cat litter. I mean, anything, really. And uh, here's just some organization tips. So what I did, I actually went to Walmart and I bought some of this. Oh, I got a picture. This is just sitting out there. I just decided to grab it. I was just going to use uh, line, but line twists up and... Well, yarn or whatever this is doesn't so I got some poly drop line I just got this is a dollar 99 it's super cheap uh, 375 feet worth says it's 72 pounds whatever I'm going for channel cat I'm going for food and that's pretty much about it but uh so I'm gonna start doing and I'm starting to label them I got two three feet one four feet so I know what I'm catching them at that way I don't know I can kind of hone in on where they're at if i'm catching a bunch at three and four feet and not at six feet i'll probably cut the line and do a bunch at three feet four feet whatever um but anyways i just like nothing special just a little triple knot right there on the edge obviously make sure your caps are on that'd be pretty stupid and then i'm just going to tie some different treble hooks circle hooks uh worm hooks i mean i'm, I'm gonna put worms uh, i use hot dogs uh, you can use cut bait if you can get a hold of that. Um, I'm going to use, even that Walmart uh, stink bait is actually pretty good. Just some of that dough bait, put that on a treble hook, that's good stuff. And uh, of course I use chicken liver and all that. Um, yeah, that's probably about most of the bait that I'm going to use. So anyways, I got a bunch of these. Uh, Tennessee, you have to have name address or something like that or you can use your twra which is like on your license so i put it on there for twra in case they think i'm doing something legal they can find me and i guess let me know or yeah there you go that's how they can find me so stuff like that makes it a little bit easier um i'm not sure what else to say I, mean, I guess i could show you what i'm doing but really i'm just tying a, a double knot and I just, I got me a tape measure here. Grab a little half gallon jug. Got my yarn, line, stuff. And this is all guesstimation. I really don't care that much. Lay that out. That's about four feet, so a little extra since you gotta tie on your knot and, and you gotta tie it on the jug and you gotta tie it on the line so if you cut it right at four feet it's not gonna be four feet um, super easy though I'm just gonna do a just a couple knots here I don't have a headset or anything like everybody else does so I got what I got. Do a little overhand knot. Do another overhand knot. This is just the knot that you do when you're tying your shoes. One, two. I'm going to do three of them because it doesn't matter what you do. As long as it doesn't come apart. Alright? Right. I'm not going for big fish like I said. So if y'all want to use some fancy knot, that's fine. That's on there pretty stinking tight. Cut a little bit of this tag. I don't know, just so it doesn't hang. But uh, that's it. And then I'm just gonna, oh, zoomed in, my bad. I'm gonna label it four feet, put my TWRA on there. I'm gonna put some hooks on these. I'm gonna wait for summertime to come around, maybe even late spring. That's my pizza beeping at me, so I'm gonna go eat that. All right, YouTube, appreciate you watching. Bye.